Okay, so this is a quick overview of how to quickly create uh, some whiteboard uh, type graphics for your e-learning course. Uh, when I did a search for whiteboards here, uh, you can see that there's kind of some basic elements that make up a board. So it's going to be your frame, uh, your board area, and then what I would say are the assets. So you're going to have a shelf of some sort where you have things sit. So you can see there's a shelf here. Uh, here there's one. And then you have these assets like markers and erasers. And that's what allows it to become more than just a rectangle. So if we look in PowerPoint, one of the easiest ways to create a whiteboard is something like this. And this is basically just a rectangle. So I just came up here. I grabbed the rectangle tool and drew the rectangle. You fill it with white and then I have a little shelf that's just a line. Uh, and that and that works really well. So if I have this simple eraser and marker here. Let me copy this. So we put it on here. And these are your assets now, right? So I'm going to move this onto my shelf. I'm going to let me scale this down a little here. And then we'll move this on the shelf. And then you can see um, you've got something that looks like a whiteboard and didn't take a lot of work to do that. Now when you're working with lines like this, uh, something to keep in mind, let me um, Let's do this here. If you're going to use a rectangle tool and just use the line as your frame, uh, you're going to have to change the thickness of that with or the width with your line style. You have to change that manually. So if we did 10 points here, you can see um, that it thickens up that line. Now, uh, the only problem with this is if you scale the window up or down or this box up or down, the line thickness is going to stay the same. So you'd have to manually change it. Another tip here that a lot of people aren't familiar with is so if I make it a little fatter, you'll notice that it's rounded. So when you have two lines that join together, you can change uh, how those look. So if you don't want a rounded look, you can go to your line styles and then you've got your join type. So you can choose bevel which is going to cut off the corner here and give it a bevel look. Or you can do miter which will give you a squared look. And so a squared look might actually work best for a board. So that's just something to keep in mind. Um, so that's just using a regular rectangle shape. Uh, the other thing is you could do something where you use a filled uh, form like this. So we've got this one here that kind of looks like a frame. And what's nice about this is your instead of this being your line, this is actually your fill area. So you can fill this. And now you can fill it uh, a few ways. So all you'd have to do is, you, again, you come back in here, go to fill. You've got a few options. Now this particular fill, what I did here, is I just used a gradient fill. And there's a preset. And I just used one of the Chrome uh, presets uh, to fill it. And, um, and then um, what I did is I added a drop shadow here. You can see I've got a little shelf. And then the other thing is inside I dropped a box and on the box here I put an inset shadow. So if you look at your regular rectangle and then what I did is on the shadow in PowerPoint um, you've got this inset shadow. So I did that. What I like about that is uh, without the inset shadow, let's look at this here. Oops. Let's come back over here. Without the inset shadow you just it, you don't get that sense of depth. But when I move the inset shadow there behind there, it really separates the frame from the white background. And then again, you could do the same thing. You get your eraser. You get your, you get your marker here. Let's copy these. Let's bring them over here. And uh, we can put them on here. And then it looks like a whiteboard. Um, and then you can do that. What you do here, you can do the same thing here and just use wood. So again, you can use the wood frame. I've got a shelf. Um, let's go ahead and paste those assets on there. So now I've got my eraser. I've got my marker. You can see it looks really nice. And then again, I want some separation on there. So I'm going to go ahead. Let's grab this shape that we had here. I'm just going to bring it in here and we'll put it behind um, this here. And um, just move it over a little. So you've got this inset shadow here and it kind of pull, creates some separation um, between the board and the frame. So I think that looks really nice. And then you could do something like this where you build this out. And these are just shapes that I added to kind of create this look. So a lot of things you can do um, to build the frames. Real simple and hopefully these tips help.